just as Red Magnus expected. But don't think you've tasted Red Magnus as full power. The real fun super starts now. get an addiction when we get back to the nether world. My god. Some, you know, homonyms or whatever. Not homonyms, but... Stop right you there. Know. No matter how hard a muscle-brained monkey word tries, means... they would never be able to defeat my Sir Killia. She interrupted my train of thought. What did you say oh. you've been? No, no, there's not that kind of game, man. It's a T for teen. Uh, wait, you're... Did you just notice? Yes, I am the Rathlesia that blooms on the battlefield. What? The overlord of gorgeous Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. You're the shrew princess of gorgeous. Buddy, she has a Glock with hearts on it. Do not take her there because she is baby crazy. I am certainly not no, a shrew but you're baby princess. crazy. I am now the overlord of gorgeous. Address me as Madam Overlord Serafina. Yeah, that's right. Sarah something. I just super remembered right now. So, what are you doing here? That is my question for you. What is the Overlord of Scorching Flame doing here? And why are you fighting alone? Well, you know, the Supreme One just needed to release some stress. So he was having some fun with the lost. <laughs> What's with that look? Got something you want to say? Yeah, man, how do you... How do you get those abs like that? What kind of juice regimen are you on? Your oh. fighting style. It looks like you're exerting your inner rage. Inner oh, I know, look. Rage? He's... Stop talking super nonsense. His, uh, his pants are about as low as uh, Sir Killia's uh, are. So th definitely, they're going to be great friends. Look at... Oh, man. Oh, boy. Look at these character designs. Good lord. Fine. I guess I was mistaken. What in the red hell? You're a demon. But you're apologizing? Yeah, so, that's the gist of it. Where are we going? Let's get... Uh-huh. What Fair do you question. Mean, let's? Aren't you guys picking a fight with yeah, Blue Dark too? Red Magnus certainly is. So, let's go together and have super, super fun. fun times. I welcome any man who will be an asset in battle, a weird, but I refuse tactless a monkeys. Weird, weird revolver. Now, go back to your mountain. Shoo, shoo. What? Who cares? It's not like it's gonna cost you anything. Red Magnus says, let's go yeah, gosh, together. Gosh, I'm gonna itch in the, you know, tomorrow morning. Do whatever you please. Killia, I just all right, then it's settled. Now, let's turn it's in. Two for one, on. You're in the presence of Red Magnus. Soon, the Scorching Storm Overlord Red Magnus became a super ally. Of course, he did. <sighs> Those two have some nerve ignoring my opinion. <laughs> they, were, they were distracted by, by other things, Serafina. Well, it's fine. It's only until Void Oof. Dark is murdered, so I suppose I'll forgive that. Those two will simply end up working for me. <laughs> okay, look at that garter belt she's got on. That Killia person. Oh. What is with his ridiculous? Oh yeah, he looks attention? ridiculous. He could be very dangerous, which could make him very useful. Nobody sees a random mage According on the battlefield. To historians. Void Dark had taken over or destroyed over 30% of the entire Netherworld. Who's this talking? A furious god, anguish illusion, miserable corpse, or any of the other Netherworlds that were hanging on by a thread had fallen. Over half of the entire Netherworlds would have been under his control. On the other hand, Roaring Rampant, sure, Brutal, brutal. Beast, Dragon Fang, and the other giant Netherworlds hadn't yet fallen. Those who were expecting the giant netherworlds to offer resistance against the demon emperor. I want to get to that blue planet over there. Planet oh, shit. That was a pretty, well, a pretty quick <laughs> chapter one. It was like three hours. Here we go. Oh, boy. Look at them, look at them legs. Good lord. who wallows in riches and fame throughout the entire universe. All men in this universe belong to me. Now, kneel before me. Good lord. Oh, boy. Uh, 
my lovely Serafina. I will not allow anyone yep. else to have you. Please, that marry looks me. about right. Who's that? Oh whoa, whoa, boy, whoa. hold on for one minute. Sarah is mine. Red Magnus won't let anyone else. Super His pecs are exactly like Kilia's. Who's that? Next time on Serafina Story, Episode 2, Because of Love. Tonight, you will be falling in love. Do you need oh, to uh, Again, this guy randomly pops up. Mr. Question Mark Face. I will make a new save. Yes, we do. Maybe it's the uh, midnight bed creeper. Whoa, what's with all the screaming? Now is no time to be calm, Sir Kilia. This is an yeah. emergency. Are we under attack from the lost? No, of all things, that monkey put his underwear in with my laundry. His waves came in oh, contact boy. with her un undermentionables. Is that all? What a stupid uh, Kilia's, reason. Kilia is actually, actually, Kilia is actually a pretty down-to-earth, kind of relaxed, dope guy. I know I gave him some shit earlier. I'm still going to give him some shit. Because he needs a shirt, and he needs to pull up his fucking pants. Uh, but you know what? I think he has a good perspective on things. You know what? It's like, hey, war breaking out? Let that not stop me from getting my protein, you know, uh, 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 juicing up on the battlefield, carving up. So that, you know, I can, I can live to fight another day. And, you know, this whole thing, that's like, look, lady, come on. His unmentionables, men you know, got mentioned, you know, with your undermentionables. But just brush it off your shoulder, man. You know, because I mean, we're all in this together. We're all in this, this, this netherworld business together. It is not stupid. That brute has tainted my Now that is an issue. <clears throat> if we're still not talking about underwear anymore. Hey, Sarah! Who are you calling Sarah? Don't you dare yeah. give me a nickname! But your name is too long. Sarah is fine, right, Sarah? <laughs> Just self-fulfilling question. By the way, where'd you hang my underwear oh, to dry? Uh, I sent them down the road to Haiti! <laughs> that's, I think that's the uh, Chinese laundromat down the corner. What does of course he doesn't that know. mean? Uh, he's got a band-aid on his brain right now. It means she threw your underwear away. Uh, has that, has that no. band aid on his brain? Has, on his, no, it goes away. Huh? Okay. She did what? But the tiger brute oh, was my wow. favorite, and not to mention my only good pair of underwear. That is only pair of underwear. I, I can't hate. I mean, <clears throat> I've worn some underwear out. You know, what I mean, you 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 literally wake up one morning, get out of the shower, and realize every pair of underwear, not even underwear, like boxers you have, has a hole in the ass. You know, how, why there's a hole in the ass? I don't know. These are questions. That, are, that, that, that we cannot get into on this kind of family stream. This is definitely a family stream. This is this game is T for Teen. We won't, we won't get into that. He has absolutely zero tact. Just the idea of that man being in my vicinity is enough to disturb right, my lady. peace of mind. I would overcharge him for rent, but that idiot doesn't even have a single hell to his name. And he's maybe I should cut off his head and claim. Oh, right, that's right. There's like a bounty or something. She needs to put some more clothes on. They're all yeah, so they noisy. Took up and have some more ramen. Just relax, Sokilia. Oh, allies. Uh oh. You learn, do you? Oh boy. Schizophrenia action going on. This is good. This is good. So maybe this is going to be a game that also addresses, um, you know, issues of uh, uh, of mental health. You know, these taboo issues in America right now. You know, these things that we actually don't want to talk about. But he's got allies. Sokilia, you've got me. You got me, buddy. They're not my allies. No, no, I that's a bad... Oh, dude, we all need friends. We all need friends. You know, uh, no man is an island uh, onto an ocean <clears throat> of himself. Uh, I think that's how the, uh, that phrase goes. Sure, you say that, but here you are with them. You're a blood-soaked renegade out for revenge. Allies don't suit you. Or did you forget what happened 
Oh, no, I totally did. I have no idea what's going Oh, shit. Okay, we saw this before. What is this? What? Okay. I'll never forget. Vengeance is the only thing that keeps okay. me going. Right. You don't have anything to protect oh. anymore. I hope that wasn't his daughter. <clears throat> or maybe his sweet side piece. Let anger saturate every fiber of your being. Release me and destroy Good everything. Day. Nope, don't listen to him. Episode 2. So Demon maybe are we going to get a peek at Void Dark, maybe? Look at that. I'm already on the Void Dark train. I was hating on that name ahead of time. Yep, there he is. Where are they? Have they been found oh, yet? We, why is there question marks? We know who you are. You've got to be Void Dark. Who else are you going to be? Your Excellency, rebels have appeared in the frontier of Blood Parch. The main squad that was stationed there has been completely yeah, wiped out. <sighs> not happy. Y Your Excellency? Ah, As to his 83rd Secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Count Eringigi. Count Erengigi. Though I am not worthy and mightily frightened, I shall be speaking on behalf of the great Lord Void Dark. Oh boy, that's not going to get old. Ahem. You said you had important information to report, so I made time for you. But is that all you've got? Nope, still not old. No, um... Do you think a dragon would care one bit about what ants may do, Gi? If you know they're rebels, then why don't you go kill them, Guy? Is there a reason you're wasting our time with this? Or did you want to accept responsibility for the weak squad that was destroyed? Is that what this is about, Guy? What? No, that's not... Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 come on. Come on. Look, you know, how... I, I knew he was Republican. That's absolutely, you know, a conservative thing to do. You know, no no respect for, you know, the military class. You know, uh, that that slug skull slime thing was probably from, you know, lower class neighborhood in the netherworld. It's like to join up in the Void Dark Army because he had no other options. Couldn't go to college. Parents can't, <clears throat> you know, pay for demon school. Decides to give it his all for uh, Void Dark in this war against the other netherworld. Sees his buddies dying in the dirt, dying in, you know, blood parch. Comes to make his report, you know, to the to the head honcho in charge, the main man in charge. And was the main man half of them? One came to speak to them. You know, he can only address them through, uh, you know, a subordinate gi. Uh, and for his troubles, he gets he gets sent somewhere. I imagine he's dead. Will Void Dark, you know, send a letter to Slime Skullface's family? I doubt it. Void Dark does not look like the kind of person. Who, who appreciates, you know, those, those lower cogs, those, those guys that keep this war machine, this void dark war machine, uh, 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 uh turning. Just look at the regard he has for them. Oof. Worthless. Void dark man, uh, I think, I think you need to correct yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay? Words of wisdom. All right, enough of that. Oh, who is this strapping fella? Your All right, now so <laughs> we have taken control of the netherworld okay. of furious god, anguished illusion, and miserable corpse. Oh, these names, Fur furious god, sure, why not? Anguish illusion, but the best one, miserable corpse. Aren't we all, folks? We are just corpses walking through life. Really love this guy, though. Uh, this this big big black bastard, uh, triple B, uh, whoever this sucker is. Why do you send him out to blood parch? As expected of Demon General Bloodis. Bloodis, Demon Emperor Void Dark will surely be satisfied with your work. <laughs> uh, so we got a Demon General and a Demon Emperor. Uh, these names are not very imaginative, you know. Why is he not the eighty-third Demon Secretary? Right, his name was Erengi. Maybe they, maybe he did say his name was uh, Demon Secretary. I, I missed it. Definitely, his name is Erengi. Gi. 60% of all netherworlds are now in the hands of Lord okay. Void Dark. We just need to suck in the surrounding netherworlds too. It's colonialism at its worst. It's rampant expansionism. 
Yeah, he does. That's a, that, now, that is a deep uh, urban voice that uh, Demon General Bloodus has. You know, I, I mean, something tells me that if, if Bloodus was not uh, raging war on behalf of Demon General Void Dark, he'd totally be in an R&B soul band. Uh, a power group. Boys to men style. Demon, demons to men's. D2M. That'd be the name of that group right there. Alright, is that it? Alright, I can use a skill shop now, dude. Okay. Skill shop is now open. Uh, thank you for waiting. I'm happy to announce that the skill shop is now open. Well, skill shop is now open. There are efficient functions here that will help you progress through battles smoothly. So please come quick. Ooh, my, my hips hurt from cleaning, dude. The innocent shop is now open as well. Okay. I think you're helping me pretty. Thanks to you. We were able to clean up the innocent shop. Really? What shop? Lady, you're, you're on a single tile, um, you know, floating in space. Please come see the cute innocence, everyone. Let's play together. This sounds really sinister, actually. By the way, since we got rid of the Lost Army and Blood Patch, where are we going next? No idea. We don't have any information right now. I'd like to get information about Void Dark's whereabouts. Don't worry, the Prennies are searching for it. I think they'll return soon with some information. We should talk to citizens of the Pocket Netherworld to gather information about the Lost. Okay. Oof! Oof! Look at all this! Look at this! The quest, let's see if school has been added. Let's... The quest lets you skills have been added. Oh, they've been added. I thought I'm like, look at all this quest clearing guy. They got me. They got me excited for a, uh, a quick little minute. Uh, looks like we've got um, a special event. Tell me, tell me if it's the same way. It's going to involve uh, Magnus and um, Serafina. Uh, so yeah, let's check this out real quick. Let's check this out. That was a super dangerous. Red Magnus almost got stuck in that black hole. He, he really, he really needed that underwear. You know, I'm gonna guess that his old underwear did not have a hole in it, so that there was there was some reason uh, for him to risk his life to actually save it. You know, uh, it, it was a pair of underwear that still had some life uh, left in it. Uh, she's upset, so I would be I would be completely fine if you hadn't come back. Come on. Come on, man. A little love goes a long way. Hey, Sarah, you're in big trouble for throwing out Red Magnus's favorite pair of underwear. You do know what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's got some mischief, mischievous eyes. Anyway, you're in more trouble for throwing your dirty underwear in with my laundry, son. Look, you're not going to apologize. You're the one. While we're at it, let's decide who's the better overlord. Well, I think you are. He... I don't think he has a home anymore. You know, you still got one. Why does he have some bin wall balls on his neck? Uh, search, Kelia. It's no use. Up oh, there's a drawing. It does look like them. Still, he's got that party hat on. <laughs> no, he's he's going back to work on it. Hey, Sarah, what was that just now? I don't know. Sir Kelia can be quite mysterious sometimes. 